Today on Vape and Juice we're going to be reviewing the Asmodus Minikin 2. Yo, you need to quit smoking and start vaping The same habit but a different outcome is so amazing No time to back up, just nicotine and flavor So make the switch now and do yourself a favor Hit our vape and juice the e six shop Arrange your products, do in your budget, it never stops No fake light up cigarettes Hi guys, welcome to another Vape and Juice review where we'll be reviewing the Asmodus 2. Um, this is the newest box mod, the Asmodus 2, the Asmodus Minikin 2. Uh, well, we'll be reviewing this. Um, it's the latest box mod from Asmodus. Um, it follows on from the success of the Minikin 1 and the Minikin 1.5 uh, and you can actually get it from Vape and Juice for only 84 99 uh, so it's a top-notch dual 18650 mod um, and what we'll do is we'll dive down into the close-up I'll show you the ins and outs of it then we'll come back up give it a vape and see what you think right let's go to the down view now okay here we are in the down view with the Asmodus Minikin 2 um, the box is standard as per always it's got the Minikin 2 information tells you it's 180 watt there. Got your little scratch and sniff panel for authenticity. Gives you all the information on the box about the ranges it covers. This will fire down to 0.1 ohm. Um, so it fire well, 0.1 should I say. So yeah, it fires down pretty damn low. Uh, and it will fire up to 2.5 ohm. It contains all the usual stuff like temperature control and such as well. Let's have a look inside the box. We've got the Minikin to itself, let me take that out, put that to one side for a second, then you pull out this little foam insert and inside the box you've got uh, Minikin 2 specification that tells you all about the curve uh, mode which I will tell you about in a bit because I've learned quite a bit about that, um, you've got your warranty card as per always, a bit of battery safety information from Asmodus and you've got a full instruction manual telling you all the ins and outs but I'm going to give you a quick rundown anyway so pop that back in there um, before I carry on uh, inside the if you're wondering where the actual USB charging cable is because it does state there's one in the box it's actually inside the little battery compartment so you take that out and if you're like me I don't charge stuff via USB so I don't use it alright okay that's the box itself let me get rid of that and then what I'll do is I'll chuck a couple of batteries in this and we can take a nice close up look and we'll go from there. Alrighty. Okay, so here it is. Uh, let me zoom in a little bit actually because uh, we can get a better look at it that way. There we go. Okay, so we've got the Minikin 2 here. Um, standard inside. On the back you've got the Asmodus logo there. You open it up, pop a couple of 18650s in there and you've got a nice little handy ribbon to wrap around the batteries so that if you just give that a pull both batteries will pop out. Standard sort of configuration, it's in uh, series so you've got you know plus minus one side minus plus the other side. Uh, what looks like a stainless steel 510 connection and a, an interesting triangular rounded edge sort of top which is obviously where the two batteries come in. It's actually got a very similar shape to the RX200, uh, RX2-3 uh, in its two battery configuration. Uh, on the front you've got a large screen, well I say large, it's, it's normal size sort of screen, USB port for charging and I believe firmware upgrades and you've got the fire button here as well. Now I don't know if you can see it, let me show you up close, there you go. Uh, you can see that the Asmodus fire button actually has the Asmodus logo uh, etched onto it as well which is kind of cool. Uh, you've got battery venting on the bottom, obviously safety first and all that. And that's it really, there's, there's nothing overly remarkable about the device until you actually get into the ins and outs of it. So, fire it, obviously turn it on, five clicks, one, two, three, four, five, there we go. That's Modus logo, and then you're straight in to the power menu there. Uh, as you can see, uh, I've got on 80 watts currently, I've taken 12 puffs since I reset the puff counter. Um, the batteries are looking pretty good. Uh, nice and strong and at the moment I haven't got an atomizer on it so it's not reading any particular ohms. Um, when you fire it obviously it also check atomizer because there's nothing connected to it. Now you can go into the power menu by, I've just shown you there, if you try and touch the screen 
it's a touch screen device you see and if you try and touch the screen without unlocking it it's got a safety feature so you can't you can't mess up by pressing the up and down buttons like you can on normal mods it, 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 it just locks, it's automatically locked so you won't be able to change it until you swipe down and then press the button swipe down and then <laughs> swipe down and then press ah, swipe down press okay so you'll see my first bugbear with this device and it is irritating as hell at times that you have to literally swipe from the top down to the bottom when it's actually on swipe from the top down to the bottom to actually get it to there you go to get it to go into the wattage adjustment mode all right and then from there to be fair it's actually pretty accurate the touchscreen is very accurate it just can be a bitch to unlock uh, and then when you're ready, when you're on the wattage you like, you just press the fire button and bang, you're back to the main screen. Now, let me show you the ins and outs of the different modes. I won't take too long because a lot of these modes are, are features and, and stuff that you guys have all seen before. So, let's go into the, into the, into the, power, into the power mode. Right, so here's your different things. You've got resistance, mode and setup. Okay, let's go into setup you've got brightness so you can alter the brightness of the screen as you see fit I always have it on 10 otherwise you can't see it and then there's no way of actually going backwards either so once you've done a setting you you have to go right back to the main screen and then go back in and do all that again so um, you've got your bin there for cleaning your puff counter clean uh, but there's no way of going back so when you press the button, you go back to the main screen, and you've got to do all that again, is it? Right, let's get into the mode menu again. So you've got the power mode. Coil mode, so that is basically temperature control. I don't know why they've put coil, but if you tap on that, you can slide up and down between your different modes. Now, this, these particular menus are the only ones where you can actually go to... So you've got your NI200, it does SS316, SS317, TI mode, and then you've got the return option. Now you hit on return and it takes you back to this mode. This is the only mode, this is the only setting in the menu where you can actually do this and go back to the previous menu. So that's your coil one, aka uh, temperature control mode. If you click on power, you go on the W, that'll take you to power and wattage. While you're also here, you can set the curve. Now, something I learned about the curve, the curve, is basically the higher you set it, so you, you can change each one at every sort of 1.1 second interval, um, like so, you can press up and down and, and go like that, uh, and then it'll bring you back to this menu. So you've got your seconds there and your watts there. So you up it, and you can basically set the curve. So usually, the, a bog standard curve will slowly ramp up uh, until it hits the right bit. You'll hear it go, you know, and you'll hear it fizzing or, or cooking. Anyway, I'm in curve mode again now. Bollocks. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, so in curve mode, you set it, and it will literally go up through the wattage. So you can have it set to 5 and slowly ramp up to whatever your maximum is, like 80, for example, for the coil. Or you can have this thing fire at 80 watts from the moment you hit the button, in which case it will deliver a bang, just a straight up boom. So it's similar, the curve thing is very similar to the preheat setting on, um, on a lot of other mods, where it hits really hard and then drops down to, to like 80. So you could set it right up to like 100 for the first couple of sec for the first couple of milliseconds, and then have it drop down to your standard sort of 80 watts. Um, let's go in again. Okay, so I've explained the coil set. I've explained the coil setting. I've explained the power setting, the well, the curve and the standard wattage. So curve's kind of cool. I have played about with it. And it does work like a dream. The other settings you've got, of course, are your TCR settings, which you um, which you can set. You can set TCR, and you can also set TFR. Now, uh, TCR stands for temperature coefficient resistance. And TFR stands for temperature something else resistance. I don't know what the F stands for, but from what I've read on the internet, it's just an easier to use version of TCR. And TCR is temperature controlled stuff whereby you set the TCR rating according to your wire and it gives you the, be the best flavour possible and can detect dry hits better and, and things like that. So, 
right so we've checked the res we've checked the modes I've shown you that I'll switch it back to wattage mode for me and what I'll do is I'll take you so um, I'll take we'll go back up now I'll put a tank on it and I'll give it a vape and tell you what I think I'll give you my ins and outs and my final thoughts on it all right um, so yeah I've taken you all through it now so let's go back up to the main main view and we'll go from there let's go to the up view now okay so we're back in the up view with the Minikin V2 now what you can see at the moment on the on the oh on the mod itself is the fact that I've got a bit of cotton with a nice stainless steel coil what I'm doing with this is actually checking to see whether or not the temperature control works uh, usually I would do this in the down view but I decided to do it in the up view this time um, mainly because I forgot to do it in the down view so I've got this set to 20 watts at 420 Fahrenheit so when I fire this if it catches fire then temperature control isn't very good let's see what happens hopefully you guys will be able to see the screen and this will not catch fire All right. and it's not the cotton is the the um, coil is warm but absolutely nothing is happening the thing is the um, the, the time is going up but nothing's actually happening look look at that I'm holding it down you can see you can see the timers going up watch see and the cotton is not even smoking um, cotton itself not burnt in the slightest and the coil is definitely warm I've just touched it with my thumb and it's definitely warm um, even dry burning it it won't glow that's absolutely brilliant so it looks like as modus have actually sorted their stuff out when it comes to temperature control because um, if you remember when I reviewed the um, Helve and the Minikin V1 they both caught fire so obviously the temperature control wasn't you know wasn't present but with their new chipset the temperature control is working absolutely fine so well done as modus um, and I'm sure I mentioned at the beginning that if you want to buy this from the website uh, vapeandjuice.co.uk I'll just put their link across the top there you can pick it up for £84.99 um, which is really good uh, considering the average price in places is about 75 80 quid then that is not bad at all and don't forget you can also use darth 15 to um i'll put the i'll put the code above my head here to use darth 15 on the website to get 15 percent off your order so that was very nice of the guys at vape and juice to get a discount code just for my viewers um and for obviously their channel um, so yeah, they come in a range of colours. I've seen them in obviously in black, as you can see. I've seen them in this. They, they, mine came in this lovely sort of pearlescent white. Uh, they do a purple one. They do a, they do a range of colours, absolute range of colours. And I tell you what, it vapes like a fucking champ. That's using the Cleto 120, also available at Vape and Juice. Um, so what do I think of the mod? I like it. Um, it's the touch screen, while a bit gimmicky, is functional and it does the job. But I personally prefer hardware buttons. Um, but that's just me. I'm an old school purist, I guess, in that respect. But it does the job. It's capacitive as well. It's not fucking pressure thing. So it, it you know it responds quite well to to the the actual input. Um, unlocking it can be a bit of a pain in the ass at times. The whole sliding your finger down and then you go touch it and it still says slide to unlock. You touch it, it still says slide to unlock. You touch it, and eventually it does do it. You've just got to hit that sweet spot. And so far, I'm not sure where that is because it seems to change. Um, but aside from those little niggles, like the little the, the touch screen niggly bit, um, and the menu kicking back straight back to normal rather than having a return option on every menu. If they put a return option on every menu, then that that cuts that issue out completely. 
Um, but as it stands, the, you don't have that return option in every menu, so you have to go back in and when you want to change every single little detail. Um, and also, the only, the only other thing I'm not fond of, uh, and I find rather annoying, but I don't know whether it's just that's just the way it is, is if you look, look at the battery bar when I fire. See the battery power drop right out. Now, I don't know if that's just the way Asmodus chips work, but to me, I, I, I just like to see the battery power just at what it's at for the time, you know, at the time. I don't like the idea that, theoretically, it's just... Because you see the, the batteries fluctuating as well, occasionally. Um, which is probably highly accurate. But, in, in the case of this, it's like, you know, it, it's a little bit annoying. But it, it's not a world-ending thing. They will get, when they get to a point where they get too low, you'll get a message saying, power too low, and it won't vape anymore. Um, but yeah, absolutely brilliant. Um, I don't know what else to tell you really. It's it's a nice little device. Would I go out and buy one? Um, had I not been sent one for review? Um, yes and no. If I didn't already have a two battery mod, definitely. Uh, it feels nice in the hand. It's a nice shape, you know, for the thumb. And also, if you're one of these sort of trigger firers, it also works quite well like that. Um, and yeah, the Asmodus chip has improved dramatically from the from the V1 and the Health. So yeah, I'm pretty impressed with it. Um, you can buy it from Vape and Juice, vapeandjuice.co.uk across the top there. Uh, thanks very much for for Glenn and the gang for sending me this to review, and hopefully I'll get some more products in the post soon. And review some more stuff for them. Alrighty. Okay. That's been me, Darth Naga, bringing to you another Vape and Juice review. Uh, so hit the website, check it out. And if you live in the London area, there are loads of Vape and Juice shops around the, around London. So check the website out and you'll be able to find out where they all are. And go and pick one of these up today for 85 quid. Nice. Might as well go a couple of batteries while you're there as well. Get the full kit set up. Alrighty. Right. Okay. Like, share and subscribe using, I keep saying the buttons above and it's not, it's the button below. So use the button below to subscribe to the channel uh, and hopefully we can get some more stuff for you guys to see. And that's it really. Until next time my little vapists, one thing left to say, toot toot motherfuckers, toot toot. Yo, you need to quit smoking and start vaping The same habit but a different outcome is so amazing No time to back go, just nicotine and flavor So make the switch now and do yourself a favor Hit our vape and juice the e-sync shop Arrange your products, suit in your budget, it never stops No fake light, cigarettes